Now, if we want to put a patient in a neutral extension posture, what we would do is straighten the bottom leg, bend the top leg up. So we d try and minimize in introducing any flexion at all uh, in our positioning. When we're rotating our patient, we try and rotate them, pulling more up that way, not this way, and making sure we might even move them back a little bit so that they stay in the actual neutral position. And so if I look at the extent of rotation that I use, that is the maximum amount of rotation by positioning the patient in that way. And generally that is more comfortable for the patient and it means that I'm not so bent over the patient in terms of having less rotation. I'd like now to show you if I introduce a little bit of flexion in the lower lever, so a little bit of flexion, the impact that has on how there's much more rotation needed to get to the pre-thrust position. And if I introduce a little bit of flexion at the upper lever, again, we'll see that again, uh, that means we have to use more rotation. And by having the person in this flex posture, uh, um, what it means is that I'm more bent over and it, it's putting more strain and torsion on the patient's thorax. If we wanted to have the patient in a flexed posture, we'll just set that up again. If we just get you lying back on your side again, mm -hmm. what we use this time is that we will need to use a rolled towel and if we can place that underneath the patient so that it's placed between the lower ribs and their pelvis. Are you comfortable like that? And what we're going to introduce this time is we are going to have the patient in a flex posture so it's fine to flex them up, just straighten the bottom leg. So we get them comfortable there. When we introduce our rotation this time, we are pulling this way, which introduces rotation and flexion. And that is our, I'll just lift the arm up a little bit, that is our pre-thrust position there. That's the amount of rotation that I uh, only need to use to cause stiffening or locking of the spine. And what we have there is we have rotation left, and by using the towel, we have got side bending right, side bending to the opposite side. So if we have a flexed posture, we have to have op opposite movements of rotation and side bending, and we achieve that by the rolled towel. Now, if we keep our patient here and we take the rolled towel away, you will then note that by not having the towel, we have to use a great deal more rotation in that positioning, which is not what we uh, the desirable because of the strain on the ribcage and it makes me bend over further.